That is the service of ecstatic love personified. That means we can serve with feelings. We can serve with our uh, hairs, with our massage. We cannot serve like in the mood of a strict uh, Vedic understanding of philosophy. It is a service that is coming from the heart and from the deepest feeling of being uh, Dasi. Biddy. <coughs> So, like, uh, Radharan is uh, Mahababa's personified. So, Mahababa means uh, greatest feelings. And uh, Supreme Personality Godhead, he is like a uh, Ishwara. He has so much power and so much opulence. So naturally, people serve to the Supreme Personality Godhead. Wow, yeah. Sometimes likes Hello. some power. Sometimes likes <coughs> fame, uh -huh. also sometimes yeah. opulence. Also, Supreme Personality Godhead has a uh, independent nature. What? 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 Also, sanctuary nature. Always moving. <laughs> one place to one place he cannot stay one place for a long time but rather than nature <clears throat> it's so soft so uh, gentle and full of feeling and rather than is is one pointed Rather than any yeah, yeah. intention yeah. is just to please Lord Krishna. No one error. So if if we serve Shurimate Radharani, then we have to be one pointed and also full of a feeling. That's also Suniti Didi is explaining. Wow. Thank you. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, I continue. The essential portion of the Lord's pleasure potency is named Prima, love of God. And that Prima is known to consist of blissful, transcendental flavors. Wow. The quint essence. Ah, okay. This is many, many good point. So I just want to literally back. <coughs> Could you say again this? Her home. This. This, this. Again. Her form is born from the glistening thought gem. I don't know if I, it's right to say thought gem. You, somebody knows. <laughs> So this this Mahababa Chintamani Radada Swarupa. <coughs> uh, 
So, Mahababa, Nadarani has a body full of feeling. And also this mentioned the Chinta Mani. Chinta is thinking. And Mani is, is jewel. Chinta Mani means whatever we thinking, this result is coming. Like uh, if say Krishna needs something, then Krishna, no, Radhara uh, feel it. Oh, my Shama Sundara need this one. Then naturally, Radha could feel all the desire of Shama Sundara, Mohan. Also, Radharani is Manjari. Radharani is like mother. Whatever Manjari needed, or Radharani's devotee needed, and Radharani could fulfill all the desire. Like a child, like a baby, crying. Then mother could understand what baby need. Maybe breast milk, or maybe taking care of pipi kaka. So mother could understand just hearing, crying of the babies. So similarly, if we cry for Lada, we are baby, I cannot do anything. I don't know anything good for me. So please help me. Please bring me. Please uh, please take me at your, at your lotus feet. Then, Radharani could feel, feel all desire. This, this is like a chintamani. Fatweba Krishna desire. Or fatweba Krishna's, no, whatever devotee desire, Radharani could fulfill all the desire of uh, devotees and also not only Krishna, but even devotees. So if, if Suniti could add and or share, please. Today is, uh, it seems uh, not too many <laughs> here. Jai Shri Radhe. So nice. Jananda Maharaj, you are explaining our Srimati Radhika is like a mother. She is not only cleaning, helping us to clean impurities, she is also fulfilling the wishes. And of course, we have to be careful what kind of wishes am I cultivating in my chinta or chitta? Do I really think about making her happy or am I still thinking more about my material desires? So that is our homework. It will be purified. And if we are always in the consciousness of being the Dasi, then automatically it will be fulfilled that we can, Shimati Radhika is fulfilling desires for service. She is so merciful that uh, our existence, our material identification will be completely purified. And I can, in this lifetime, at this moment, I can 
remember that I am an eternal Dasi. I am her Dasi and she will help me. Not only she will guide me, she will help me. And like Gurudev always says, when she is cleaning our impurities, it's not only that the bad smell is going, but also the good smell is coming. That's why for Radhashtami, often devotees ask, oh, what to give to Shimati Radhika? What to give? And I will tell you a little secret. She likes very much the good fragrances. The fragrances of our hearts, of course, that is another dimension. But also she likes the nice flowers with the fragrance. She likes the nice perfumes with the fragrance. And in Vrindavan, we see that the devotees, they naturally, they bring the bangles, the arm uh, bracelets. They bring the nice uh, perfumes. They bring nice incense. That is what they give to Srimati Radhika on her birthday. And they always uh, celebrate her beauty and her uh, desire to help us also to become a good smelling, a fragrant and a very uh, clear and clean Dasi means our intention to serve is one pointed and that is a good time now to meditate about this. And therefore, I like the verse that you choose. Did you choose this, Maharaj? Yeah, actually, wow. <laughs> our, our devotee <laughs> choose. Very nice. And next to Chaitanya Charitamrita, also very nice verse. Pradinira Sara Amsha Tara Prema Nama Ananda Chimaya Rasa Premera Akyan Premera Paramasara Mahababa Jani Sei Mahababa Rupa Dada Takura. I think that is Gorabani Babu. Last time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I remember that was this nectar. Yes, this is very nectar. And uh, <clears throat> always we can uh, repeat and hear again and again. This is also nice. You, you, yes. the, <laughs> the essential portion of the Lord's pleasure potency is named Prima, love of God. And that prema is known to consist of blissful, transcendental flavors. <laughs> the quintessence of prema is Mahabha. And the personification of that Mahabhava is the goddess Radha. Therefore, for engaging in the service of Sri Radha, one must adopt a favorable mood. So this is uh, put, um, essential portion of the Lord pleasure potency is named Prema. So, Fradini Shakti's essence, over this mentioned Sara Ansha. So, according to Guru Dev, this is kind of uh, energy. So, Fradini Shakti personif personified is Radharani. So, Radharani's energy is Gadadara. <laughs> and this this is prema. And prema consists. Prema is known to consist blissful transcendental flavors. So prema loving feeling always have flavor. Gurudev mentioned two kinds of flavor. 
material flavor and spiritual flavor. The among the spiritual flavor, rather than is flavor is topmost. Because Radharani is a source of all love, divine love. And Radhika could satisfy Krishna at most by her devotion, by her greatest feelings. And this flavor. <coughs> Is all radicals body has flavor. So naturally, radica wear like a sari, a chori, etc. All radicals flavor is there. And Radharani is pleased. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, and then Radharani oh, give to his oh, no. Mahaprasad of this cross, give to the Manjari. So Manjari likes to wear Shrimati's Radharani's leftover cross. So means Manjari also get same flavor of Radharani. Especially here in Munger Raj Mandir, Pujariji offer a, a fragrant oil, very nice smell oil. Then sometimes, you know, like a cotton and oil there. So at first to come to Gurudev, and then Gurudev could distribute this each each one to that flavor. So then, if we uh, smelled that flavor, touch a nostril, then we can feel it. Oh, this is Radharani or Radha's Mohan's flavor. Then, if we keep doing our flavor, become very spiritualized. Sometimes Krishna asking, sometimes Rupa Manjari or Turashi Manjari. So Krishna is thinking, you know, Rupa or Turashi Manjari there, or must be Swami. Can you please come and see And then, <coughs> because some fragrance there, nice fragrance come from you know, some direction. So Moha is thinking, oh, oh, must be, you, you know, must be, you must, you, you know, you, this near, some place, Swamini must be here, because I could feel it. And then Manjari said, you know, actually Swami is there. No, 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 because this is my Swami's cross, you know. <laughs> this from this cross, this fragrance comes. Today Swami is very busy. Mother-in-law is say, stay in this house. And then Mohan is thinking, oh my God, what misfortune today, you know. I could not have a darshan of Swami. Like this, and also Radhara Sasudanidi. I think the second verse or third verse. Krishna, if Krishna smelled this Radhara needs some fragrance, then Krishna pay obeisance to that direction from that. Radical smell is coming. Just pay obeisance. Because radical smell and radarani is one sense non-different. 
So, and then rather than it's feeling, oh, I'm, I'm just smelling, oh, I'm, I could associate in Swamini. Maybe directly, maybe indirectly. Sometimes Krishna feels rather than his presence. Sometimes Krishna, Mohan, feel a little bit, you know, distance. Rather than a little bit far. So this is fragrance is a very uh, good item for us. So Suniti, you can also, you may say. We cannot hear you. Sunita, Rade, cannot hear. Yes. Thank you for such a nice explanation and inspiration about the dress and the flavor of Srimati Radhika. And we were just also remembering that when we get any Mahaprasadi from the temple, from Radha Mohan, this is a very special mercy. Sometimes our dear Shyama Priya is also making some dresses and she makes from the dress, from the Mahaprasadi dress, she makes little uh, bags and then we bring the bags to the devotees and they feel, oh Radha Mohan, Srimati Radhika has come to me. So that is the first level that we develop some attachment and some belonging. Oh Radha Mohan, Give me some of her prashadi earrings or some prashadi clothes and incense and, of course, also food. That's why Gurudev always wants to give us these prashadi boxes. Always, when you are in Rindavan, you have to take prashadi boxes. And then when we respect and we take this prashad, we, we try to connect with the flavors of love of Radha Mahan. And I like when you were giving this example that this, as we are feeling it with our senses here in this world, also there is levels that are on this spiritual, very high, you know, different, different levels of how to feel the flavors of love between Radha and Mohan. And that's why we go to Vrindavan and we hear from, from all the sadhus, and we develop our spiritual senses. Govardhan, right, Gurudev? That is our, our desire to, to lift our consciousness from the material senses to our spiritual sense perception. And with a little bit of, of patience and, and mercy, then these perceptions of the, of the flavors of love they may also find a place in the heart. That is our aspiration. We first, we receive some prashad, some mercy, some flying kiss in the form of prashad. And then also we want to help to, to create the good flavors of love that Radha and Mohan can meet. And we want to help that the devotees uh, can taste it and that we all together taste it. So I like this example. That is the, the transformation from the, from the bodily consciousness, which is also a blessing to uh, the higher, higher levels of prema, where we can in our siddha, svarup, in our eternally, in our constitutional position, we can also be active for this love, for this prema, in another way. And that is, of course, also the mercy that we can uh, feel it. That is our goal. This is our desire to live in this 24-7. And that is so wonderful. Then inside and outside become one. But Gurudev always gives us these good uh, remembrances. Gurudev says, change comes from within. That is the secret, the changing uh, of our material uh, consciousness is not just by putting on the sari or dhoti or any nice clothes, which is nice, but the change comes from really within. And that is what we are waiting, what I am waiting for, 
that my heart also can become uh, suitable for Shrimati Radhika to do something in the service of her service, in the yeah. desires of her desires. Hmm. Ah, that's it. This you, you mentioned this, mm -hmm. this or you, this, you yeah, mm -hmm. also next to uh, sentence quintess quint uh, a qu quint essence of prema is Mahababa. And the personification that Mahababa is goddess love. So Prema, so we say Prema, like a sugar cane juice we have, and boil it, then very sick, and then gurun. Some, some, uh, what is it? Black, black sugar, uh, some uh, brown sugar coming. And then more, what is it? Define. And then become more white, white, like this. So, prema is different stage. Means our feeling also many different feeling also also this, this feeling become more condensed 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 then finally something coming up but sugarcane juice finally coming out like a what is it rock sugar or something you know, content. Molasse, uh, molasse, yeah. Uh, molasse? Mm. Molasse. And, you know, and defining like, uh, you know, look, like, like kind of, uh, I said, look, you know, white, uh, I said, like, uh, no, like uh, ice, like ice, uh, like ice, like ice, like sugar. I don't know what to call it. Huh? Powder? No, no, like uh, look. Yeah, crystal sugar. Crystal sugar. Crystal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a crystal sugar. So similarly, if we condense prema, if our feeling, rather than the feeling is more more condensed, more more what is say, more strong, more deep, deep go into. Then final stage, it is called the Mahababa. Mahababa means greatest feeling. And then greatest feeling means mad. Become a little crazy. So Radharani's love is a little crazy. Because just seeing black things, if see Tamaru tree, rather than running and embrace Tamaru tree, <laughs> sometimes Saki is laughing. What are you doing, Radhika? What are you doing? What are you embracing? It's that kind of also feeling coming. And also, this is interesting. And the Mahababa personification is Goddess Radha. For engaging in the service of Sri Radha, one must adopt favorable mood. This is interesting. The question may arise. One must adopt a favorable mood. So what is a favorable mood? So I would like to hear from our dear Suniti. Or, or, or somebody could help us. This is wonderful.
Well, Maharani also, you, you, if, if you could. Huh? Okay, maybe Finiti. Oh, there are many uh, devotees here who have a very favorable mood for Shrimati Radhika's service. Maybe Dina so, Dayal you know, and Mahabha. My, my grass, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot see properly because my. Ah, yes, I see Dina Dayal and Mahabha, ah, but they are hiding. Dina Dayal. They remember you. Yes, please help, help us. Help, help us. So, what is the favorable mood to serve yes. Srimati Radhika? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh Mahababati, Mahabab, our Mahababati also. There yeah, they are. <laughs> so please help us. <laughs> yes, because Mahababa knows Mahababa, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cooking something and it will burn if I don't. Oh my God, yeah, that is the must be yeah. favorable for cooking for Shimate Radhika. It cannot burn. Now, good time for cooking, huh? maybe <laughs> some meat has to bring to, to, to Nantaga. <laughs> yeah, serving with love, with affection. Having love in affection. Come to And more? <laughs> please, please, don't hide. <laughs> don't hide. Uh, you have mentioned here how uh, Radharani and her service is cleaning our hearts. And uh, I don't know what to say, but recently we are going through some heavy scrubbing <laughs> of our hearts. It's like, um, I don't know how to say, but this is very necessary from this, when the, in, from the point of view, when we are in it, we think it's something bad going on. But when it's over, then we realize, oh, it was just, Radharani doing the, uh, the necessary cleaning on our heart to be able to receive more love. Because if, our, if we hold on to some old beliefs, old programs, old hurts, you know, we, we all have childhood hurts, um, religious hurts, uh, programming, all sorts of things, you know, especially those of us who've been in a certain institution for a long time you know we have been programmed in a certain way and then uh, all those hurts programs things then they cannot really um, th they are uh, obstacles especially this the greatest obstacle is this guilt you know guilt feeling of guilt that oh i'm not not uh, it's the opposite of being puffed up you know there is two sides of the ego one is when I'm full of myself and I'm so great and I cannot see anything else besides myself. But the opposite is when I think of myself is like, I'm not good enough. It's not humility. Sometimes you mix it with humility and think, oh, if I feel so um, guilty, then I'm humble. No, if I feel guilty, then, then it's also an ego trap. Because if you feel guilty, that means uh, your ego is guilty. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Uh, it's it's a very subtle thing. Yeah, and um, we need a healthy balance. Um, not feeling guilty, but when you are uh, in a manjari swarup, in your swarup, then you cannot feel guilty. Only when you are in your physical, in your uh, sadak deha, when you are in your physical identity, then those guilt trips can work because they are all connected to i'm not good enough but who uh, who is this i is this my body i identity of course because in your manjari svarup you cannot be not good enough because you're made of radhika's mercy it's always good so but before we get into our svarup sometimes Radharani is cleaning making some big cleanup 
in our hearts to be able to easily, more easily shift to this, uh, or our real identity, right? Mm. So my personal experience, this, uh, this period, I've been a little bit like um, taking care of myself and just staying like on a standby in so to speak to be able to work on those uh, things that are coming up, you know. Also, I've discovered some childhood traumas and things, so I had to work on those. But this is all good. I feel so blessed that actually it is all Radhika's mercy to for us to be able to be more receptive of, of her gifts, of her blessings. And, and that that's very, very important in our lives i i this is how what i could share right now i don't know else what else i can say thank you this is so nice, nice. very nice yes. you know uh, when you mentioned uh, for example how i would cook for radica you know i would cook for her like he's she's my family you know, I would, during cooking, meditate, thinking that uh, about the quality of the food, uh, the taste, everything that will touch Radhika's lips so that it is a uh, nice taste, uh, healthy, and so on, you know? And, uh, for example, while offering food, we we have like okay, we have this part here that we have food here cook, but actually we can offer it in our swarup. You know, we enter swarup and there we offer food nicely. We can even add some more thing if we don't have that at the moment. You know, there we are not limited. In Swarov. So, for example, you have a simple meal, but you can add cakes, uh, juices, whatever you don't have at the moment, you know. So, we are not limited. And in that way, when you offer food in Swarov, uh, Radhika immediately reciprocates. You can feel that she accepts and that she she's spreading love. Just, you know. So that I can say, you know, in, in, in a mood, manjari mood, you know, you, you offer and serve Radhi. Very, very nice, very nice, very good point. Radhika is our our family member. We have a very intimate, like manjari. Radhika is our Mother, and Radhika is our Swamini. Also, I feel this this favorable mood is uh, one pointness. Mm. Mm. So, God yes. like a like a like a style. Sometimes, uh, you know, our consciousness go to sanctuary moving this that direction direction and this is my you know you know we may say oh this is offering Radha Moha but uh, inside some some tendency for for myself my pleasure I like this one therefore I am offering to you <laughs> that kind of mentality still still we may have it also we we may think Rada, but sometimes also we may think, oh, Mohan is, I like Mohan also, my Mohan, that kind of tendency. So this is Rada Adik Suneha uh, mentality, one point on this, like a self, uh, no selfishness, one point of Rada. This also we may add, <laughs> we may add this, this one. Yes, and uh, one more thing is the, with, with one pointedness is that we are actually one pointed towards our Ishtadev, mm. you know, our 
Radha and Krishna, you know, our. And uh, we we should uh, we should not mix. For example, before when we were in Iskon, there was there was lots of mixing of uh, many different incarnations and many many things. But actually, when we find our Ishtadev, then that's that. One pointedness helps us to develop intimate relationship with them. They are how you said mother, father, whatever, you know, but they are ours. You know, they are we can say to Radhika, you are mine. Just to add one thing, it's not that we find Ishtadev. But Ishtadev is revealed, revealed to us. Yeah. Actually, when the person is ready, then they are both. When the person is eager, eager to find the Ishtadev, and also the Ishtadev is eager, eager to find the devotee. And then when they meet, that's the most special thing. Because the lover and beloved, the lovers and beloved are meeting. Yeah. So that it's them who search for us also, not only us searching. And it all comes by mercy. All is coming by mercy. The if eagerness is so strong, the yes. meeting is so beautiful. Huh? Yeah. Like, uh, I met to, I met you in 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 Suniki's house. And only I could see on on this kind of zoom, you know, zoom screen, but the real meeting is uh, much much better <laughs> oh yeah. yes <laughs> yeah. definitely we, we are so happy to be to that we're able to meet all of you uh, of course this zoom is so important but just imagine what would have been it have be if without without this we couldn't really survive because we we are able to go directly and meet personally all of you just very rarely but this is so important because in this way we meet in some way in, in, in we kind of transcend the physical distance and we are able to be together with everybody and guru there in this way even though we are not physically there but still we are together and then when we meet finally physically also then it's even more sweeter because we already know each other we know each other's minds, hearts, and this sharing, this is why this sharing is so important, that we also, devotees, uh, open their hearts. Also the shy ones, you know, I, not shy, I think maybe there it's a wrong word, not people are not so much shy, but some people are introverted more. And I'm also introverted, but since you ask me, then I must talk, you know, <laughs> but but I see there are much more and more jewels here, but who are also hiding. But we would love to hear from all of you. You know, every, all of you have some jewels, some gems in your heart that, that you take and you hide. But please share, because this is very important for all of us to, when we share our jewels of the heart, then then it's uh, benefiting everyone because then we grow together and we get, become stronger and stronger together by mutual inspiration. This is very, very important. So I'm really grateful for these uh, Zoom meetings. Thank you so much. Okay, we continue. We continue reading. Um, in the previous verse, Sri Raghunatha attained his desired devotional service. But when that vision vanishes, the agony of separation becomes intolerable. Weeping and weeping, he prays, Ai Bhavini, beautiful or emotional girl. When can I diligently bring soft clay with soft clay mixed with camphor along with scented water 
into your room. Wash your lotus-like feet with a stream of this water and wipe them with my hair. Sure. Just a minute. So this is Raghunathas Goswami's. Is Siddha, but so sometimes he was he 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 is he saw some spirit or some dira even some visions, but immediately disappear. <coughs> so like uh, if we meet. Beloved person, very beloved person. Then immediately that person disappear on the scene. Then we are completely shocked. We don't know what to do. So, so feeling, what do you say, in uh, anxiety. This mentioned agony. And sometimes we have to weep, weep cry. Yeah, like a people, like a, like, like a people, like a, when I was a child, like a, you know, three, four, five, then I'm with mother and go a little bit outside, some shopping, some, somewhere. Then immediately I could not find mother. Then I'm so this, you know, this time. I don't know what to do. And then all of the city. So where's my mom? Where's my mom? Like, uh, and then afterward crying. Then people is coming. Oh, what are they doing? What's problem? Oh, my mom is gone. My mom is gone. Like, like this, this feeling. So this Nagnata's feeling the separation, this agony of separation, so intense, cannot tolerate. Then, interesting, that agony is so intense, desire, greed, too intense. That intensity brings the mercy of the Lord, or a mercy of uh, Yoga Maya, or, or a mercy of Radini Shakti, then vision again comes. And that vision is, is Manjari bring uh, soft clay mixed with camphor along with scented water in your room. Radhe, Radhe. Uh, That's also a nice okay. hint. This is a nice hint to our question, Jainanda. Yes. What is the favorable mood? to serve. Here is also a hint on that because the it depends on the time of the day. What to do, in which moment, how to serve our Swamini. No? For example, in the morning, we are cooking something no? in the kitchen. Then this mood for the cooking is our favorable. We have to fix on this, how to serve with the food, with the cooking, how to understand what is Swamini's desire in that preparation of the food. Then all our is a different uh, service to do. 
afternoon is different. No? So this vision, when they come, they all depend on a special time of the day. No? We, because there are different services. And it's right to speak about Stai Bath, but in the Stai Bath, we have to be extremely flexible uh, to understand which service is when to do. And then for this, we get this view, what, what is described here. I, Bhavini, when can I delightly bring soft clay mixed with camphor along with sand and water into your room? Wash your lotus-like feet with a stream of this water and wipe them with my hair. Then we can meditate. When is the right time to do this seva? Then we go in this point. We can go deep in that. When will be this right time? And this is uh, uh, important hints by the uh, what what is described in the Villa Pushmanjali. And then we can meditate on that. The whole day we can meditate what is when to do. And um, for Mahabhav, for example, I can say that she feels some kind of guiltiness or whatever. But this depends really on the um, material. There is only one. Uh, only one sense, yeah. That you, we forget uh, Radhika or Krishna. That is then, but we take this. There is no question about sense. 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 We, we we couldn't hear you because. The, the the internet was cutting off. Can you please repeat what you just said? I th think it's important because I could hear you. What was the last? You said that I mentioned something and then... What was the last? Huh? Guilt. Mama, what was the last you, you heard? Guilt and sin. Mm -hmm. Ah, guilt. guilt and then and you sin. said something, and then that I is the meaning. Sin. Slow internet. Sin. And I mean, is Uh, fully in meditation of Swamini. So there is no sin. Then there's no identification with bodily uh, ideas. <clears throat> then we forget our material existence. Then we are in our favorable mood, Jainananda, right? Mm, yes. Right, Gurudev. Ah, Gurudev. Gurudev is there. <laughs> and this favorable mood is depend on the day and what's needed of us. Sometime morning time we cook and we do some clothes. We make some nice fragrance. We make some paintings. It depends on that what our Swamini needs to prepare her for the meeting with our Mohan. This is the perfect favorable mood. Uh, starting midnight, ending midnight. <laughs> 24 7.
always in favorable mood. Mm. Mid also, this is not to mention it, but I I feel this water is Yamuna water, Jamuna water. And also this mentioned wipe them with my hair. Not mentioned, but blackish hair. Why is that? Because Swamini like to see blackish. So Jamuna water, another name is Krishna. So Jamuna water, natural little bit blackish. Also Jamuna water is, is Mohan's daughter's, daughter, you know, Mohan's foot dust also in, in it. And so blackish hair remind also Mohan. So Manjari, his hair is very long. Sometimes we don't understand, you know, outside Indian people, they don't understand. Sometimes they cut, short cut. But in India, especially married, married lady, traditionally, some of his very long hair. And husband passed away, died, and then at that time cut it. So this Manjari has long hair. Brother also long hair. And all bodily items, especially hair, we can use for the seva for Swamini. This altar also, water also. Jamuna water is so important. Sometimes in this Munger Mandir, Gurudev told us some, some meeting place. Radharani, sometimes, you know, some excuse. Oh, I have to bring Jamuna water for gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is, uh, this Brindavan, this Jamuna is there. And also this brackish hair, I feel, you know, this is a very important item for this seva for Swamini. <laughs> That's my <laughs> observation. Beautiful. And uh, to understand the desire of Swamini, uh, this information also in form of feelings is coming from her feet. So the Manjari is getting this by serving her feet with her hand and her hair. Then Manjari exactly knows what is the feeling of my Swamini just now. We get it. It's a form of information. The Swamini's body is full of, of feelings. Uh, and we can get these feelings by directly touching Swamini's body. And uh, the most, what to say, hotspot of, <laughs> of these feelings are her feet. And we, we can touch it by our head and by the hairs and by the hand. So the manjaris get everything on this way also. <clears throat> sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, manjari wiped out, you know, lotus feet. Sometimes nobody there and brings, you know, in the heart. Sometimes <laughs> it's, you know, 
<laughs> because so fear for manjari for for us swami's lotus feet oh my god <laughs> Is you know, Gorasundra Prabhu describing this feet is so nice, and usually on only, I think Braja, only Radha Sami day, we may have <laughs> Darsha, <laughs> her daughter feet. So for Manjari, we can always see her lotus feet. You are so lucky, Jayananda. You sit under her lotus feet now. I'm sitting Guru Devas <laughs> near Lotus. Our our good friend is near. What is the meaning of the address Bhavini? The address is made in a spiritual vision. Swamini is so emotional, and so are her mates. Yeah. Wow. Swamini is ecstatic about her lover, and the maid servants ecstatically love Swamini. Yeah. This cannot be experienced with a scattered mind. It is necessary, wow. therefore, to bring her mood into the heart. Wow, this is so important. <coughs> wow. So <coughs> our tendency, our mind tendency is uh, chanchara. Sanchari. Our mind, especially in this material mind, always hankering something beautiful, some can you know, we think some object for sense gratification. Or even spiritual world. Sometimes mind go to Krishna, sometimes mind go to Radha. This is like a sati. Sometimes we are Sanchari Bab. Sometimes try to fix, try to fix our mind to, to stay Baba, but sometimes again Sanchari. So this mentioned, <coughs> this Manjari's ecstasy, we cannot experience someone who is Sanchari Bab. So therefore, Gurudev and uh, Gora Sundara Prabhu always say, we have to be in Stai Baba of Manjari. So <coughs> this, this Baba, Say, Swamini is ecstatic about her lover, and the maid servant ex ecstatically loves Swamini. This cannot be experienced with scattered mind. So it is necessary, therefore, to bring her mood into the heart. That means uh. <coughs> we have to same mood with Swami. We have to be kinkari. We have to know what she, what Swami want us. That is Manjari. Yes. <laughs> what Guru Manjari want us to do? <coughs> yes, Swami. But Swami is message come to our Guru Manjari sometimes, or always. So if I don't understand Swami, then we have to learn from the 
Rasikas. And maybe I am in service and I understand that. And when I go to service, when I am so one with her, then she accepts. Mark, if not, then we are just learning. This, uh, this Thai Baba and Kinkari Baba Is, uh, so Baba explain so nicely. So bring her mood into the heart. If we so beautiful. Know, you, you see, Jainanda, to bring her mood into the heart. This is exactly what we just described. This is not that Manjaris are uh, talking the whole day to Swamini. There is no explanation by by words. This is this is by serving the lotus feet, what we just said, with our hands and with our hair. Then we know her mood, right? Good is yeah. when she is in the Sorry. nervous to meet Krishna, we will get it by the by her feet. Maybe the feet are a little nervous, moving or very hot. We can touch by the hand, huh? Then. Manjari knows her mood. No need for explanation in words. This is coming by the direct contact. And for this, we go to Vrindavan to get the mood of our Guru Manjari, to understand this, how it works. When we close to him, not even by Zoom, <laughs> Then we, we, we understand him. <laughs> we serve his lotus feet and we get everything without so much words. It's so nice this described here in this small verse. We use this, what do you say, Jainanda, this Yamuna water, no? We use different fragrances. All is important to get, to exchange this and to get it, the information, the feelings of our Swamini, and then we know next step what to do. in her service, no? Yes. Something will be understood when the conditions become even slightly favorable and some help is given. How wonderful is the Goswami's loyalty, loyalty to the lotus feet of Sri Radha. Srimad Prabhu Bananda Saraswati has written in Radha Rasa Susani B. 78. Yeah. Nothing else can please my mind than the nectar rasa of the maid servanthood of some most amazing jewel of adolescent girls from the outskirts of Vrindavana. Ooh. Nothing else can please my mind than the nectar rasa of the maid servant hood of some most amazing jewel of adolescent girls from the outskirts 
of Wow, this is all very friends. Because this Sri Pada, uh, sorry, this uh, Ragnata Das Goswami. <coughs> no, no, this is Radha Sasami. Sri Pada, Prabhupada Saraswati Pada. Is completely by the mercy of Mahaprabhu. Is completely observing Manjari Baba. Or Unna Tojwara Rasa. Babo Rasa. Only this Manjari Baba, this is Manjari is Seba coming from this Rasa. Babo Ras Rasa. This can only satisfy my mind. No Saki Baba, no Sanchari Baba, no other Baba. Only this Babo Uras Rasa. This, this Shuripada Prabodana, Prabodana Sasara, Saraswati Pada is so fixed, Stai Baba. So he, he does not desire anything else. I want this one. I want to completely stay Baba. One pointed, one desire to serve Shurimatera. This is also very, very amazing sentence. Mm -hmm. It is natural that nothing then pleases that, sorry. It is natural that nothing then pleases the mind anymore. Because Raghu Naga Bhakti is a mental religion. Raga. Raga. <laughs> because Raga Nuga Bhakti is a mental religion. <laughs> this is a mental religion. <laughs> Where is the mind going? <laughs> so Guru David is always saying, checking out where our mind is going. Going to Swami Lotus feet or going for some sense object. Don't check others. Check, 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 check myself. Because by the bhakti, we may check other people. Oh, you are not doing, you are not chanting 60 round, 16 round, you are not following this one. But Raga Bhajan, we cannot, we don't know what they are doing because of mental religion. We don't know what they are meditating. Or we don't, we have to see our mind, is, where our mind is going. <laughs> Please. So, this is another hint for this meditation with the hair. So we are, Gananda and, and me and also Gurudev, we don't have so much black hair, long black hair, right? No, <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> but when we meditate on this point, we can feel this black hair our own black hair go when we go deep in this service of swamini we can feel really in our hands this black hair what is touching this the lotus feet the consistence of this hair this is imagination good if you said also we need this imagination without it's not not working but this is, we, we have this long, long hair. This is long enough, like a towel. We can use like a towel. And when we meditate on this, we, we can meditate. This is, a, a, we need time for this meditation. We cannot only, when we read it, then uh, it is, we go too fast on this. No? But we can meditate the whole hour one two hours on this and then this imagination gets more real we can feel our own blackish hair 
in this imagination when it touched the Yamuna water and it's drying the feet of our Swamini. This is a beautiful uh, meditation and this is, we can go fully in our Manjari bath in this, uh, 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 in our uh, spiritual body in this, even if it is not only a part, but this blackish hair, it's beautiful. It is in our spiritual body is a part of our spiritual body. And here it is so nice what you read just. We can stay on this one point by this by very reading. I also want to share okay. one thought that came when we were reading. Um, why is he weeping and weeping? And he is in this realm of the emo emotions. And Swamini is emotional and her dasis are emotional. So when they are connected in these emotions, then when they are separated again, then it's very sad. So one time, Gurudev, I remember you said, why is always this uh, mentioning about separation? Only after meeting you can feel separation. And I, I feel that is one level now that is on this high level of mental religion. When you are always in touch with the emotions of Swamini, and you feel her emotions and you become so emotional, then this separation from this emotion is very painful when we come back to the material existence. Whereas if we compare other bhaktas like Dhruva Maharaj or Narada Muni, when they had one darshan of their beloved Lord, then they had to wait until they can leave their bodies. No? Dhruva Maharaj, then he was later uh, gotten, uh, uh, he was brought home by the carrier of Vishnu and he took his mother with him. So i thinking when i reading this, is a completely different, different feeling. One is the God consciousness where I feel that when will my Lord come and get me? And I wait for maybe a long time and I just live and wait and hope. But this mental religion, when it comes so alive and the emotions become so clear and so touching, then the heart is melting. And then this is very, very painful going out of this and that's why he is crying and crying that these emotions can connect again and the leela or the spurti can continue that was my feelings that i got from this uh hearing this there is one what uh, what we can see there is a big difference between the meeting of Dhruva and uh, Manjari. We can see Dhruva had a big desire to the Lord and he liked to meet him that the Lord fulfill his desire. But when the Manjari is meeting Swamini, mm -hmm. we have the desire to serve her and not to get something from her. <laughs> this is this is complete opposite opposite situation. Uh, I mean the the pain inside is maybe like if you meet the Lord and you you meet Swamini, then uh, um, if, if you lost this vision, then this is, for both it's painful, but the motivation is completely different, and so we cry because we cannot serve her continuously in that moment. But these pictures are giving 
beide Designs by our previous uh, uh, teachers that we can meditate on this. And then when we get these visions by our own service, it can continuously going on. So we can meditate even in the material body continuously how to serve Swamini perfectly. And we get these hints how to serve uh, the daytime, the whole daytime, 24 hours, starting morning time, noon, afternoon, night time. And then we can always go deep in that. And step by step, it will come that we see these visions concrete, more concrete. And then our greed will grow more and more. And this pain is not bad, Suniti, no? Yeah, it's good pain that... We get it that we have agreed to uh, again get the vision, meet meet our Swamini to serve her. Anyway. You are explaining first sentence explanation. The service of Sri Mataradan is not like the service of Supreme Pansai the Godhead. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe this is interesting, <laughs> this meeting Durva and also Manjali's Dagnatas. Yes, by your good association, some inspirations come. No, no, by your, no, by your association. <laughs> It is natural that nothing then pleases the mind anymore because Raga Nuga Bhakti is a mental religion. As Sri Vishwanatha Chakravati says in Raga Vartma Chandrika, there is no necessity, necessity of scriptural injunctions. For Loba Eva Pravartakaha, only sacred greed is the inaugurator. Even the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead cannot experience the beauty of the thoughts of Sri Radha's maidservants. Wow. Wow. Even the servants of Krishna. Huh? The servants of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They cannot explain. Experience. Experience. The beauty of the thoughts of Radha's dust. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> this is amazing. <laughs> Even the, they cannot, they cannot recognize the, the um, Manjari's thoughts. They don't know what they are thinking. They cannot imagine, even they cannot imagine, not only experience, but also yeah. cannot imagine. <laughs> In the Vaishnava scriptures, the glories of the Ekanta one-pointed devotee are specifically sung. Sri Rupa Goswami writes in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, of all the devotees, those one-pointed devotees whose hearts have been stolen by Govinda are the best. Even the mercy of Shrisha, Lord Vishnu, the husband of the goddess of fortune cannot take their minds away. Wow. <clears throat> this is, this we can understand by Gurudev's mercy because he is training us to become one pointed. Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. Jai. I love your training. <laughs> 
I'm so happy that you all are understanding so sweet and beautiful. Only by feeling, you no need to inject. And what do you say? Religious injunctions. Mm. <laughs> Basic anything. You can feel it. Based You're on training. Dhanas, he is dancing, he is the guru, and he is teaching, and he is dancing how he wants. That's it. Mm-hmm. Well, the next sentence. Everybody has this pen to underline. <laughs> um, the one-pointed loyalty of Radha's maidservants is even more wonderful than the one-pointed loyalty mm-hmm. of Krishna's devotees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do not even want Sri Krishna's grace without that of Radha. This is interesting because because Manjari is rather addict sneha. Even Manjari does not take Krishna prasada. Even Krishna prasada. Manjari want to take after Radharani is touching Krishna prasada. That prasada, that remnant Manjari needed. Manjari does not want to directly Krishna prasada. No. Manjari want to radicals remnant. So similarly, this this Baba say they do not even want Shri Krishna grace without that of Radha. This is one pointness of Manjari. It's so beautiful. Because so what can a manjari do with the information of Krishna's prasadam? <laughs> Give it to Radhika. This is useless for them. They need this prasadam from Swamini to get her feelings to know what to do the next step. They have to know exactly what Swamini is feeling. And this is giving by direct contact with mouth to mouth. And in the hidingly moment, she put it, the remnants in, in the Manjari's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That is the only information. <laughs> then, the, then the Manjari knows, wow, this is what Swamani likes now. This is her desire. This is her feeling. This is at the moment what she is. And I get it now and I can go on in my service exactly and on that what she needs. But otherwise she will know what Krishna needs. And but this is not her department. N- 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 <laughs> no department. <laughs> Their hearts are exclusively sur- surrendered to Sri Radha's lotus feet. Tavaivasmi, Tavaivasmi, Najibami, Vayami, Vina. I am yours. I am yours only. I cannot live without you. Vilaka verse 96. It's a slogan of that proclaims their loyalty. To Radha's lotus feet. Srila Raghunatha Dasa cannot tolerate even the idea of worshipping Sri Krishna without Sri Radha. In his Svaniyama Dashaka 6, he has written Not even for a moment will I go near 
that impure place where a proud hypocrite worships Govinda alone while neglecting or disrespecting his most expert lover, Sri Raga, Ragandarva, rather. Gandharva, sorry, Sri Gandharva, rather, whose glories are sung by the Vedic, Vedic scriptures and great sages like Narada Muni, who carries the Veena. <laughs> So me, Radha. Not even for a moment will I go near that impure place where a proud hypocrite worships Govinda alone. Wow. While neglecting or disrespecting his most expert lover, Sri Gandharva Radha whose glories are sung by the Vedic scriptures and great sages like Narada Muni, who carries the Veena. Srivas. Srivas is Narada. Mm. He comes to be Radha. Antaranga Sakti near the Gadhar at the left side. Oh, oh. interesting. This is the Guru flying. Gadhar mm. and Srivas. Mm. His left side. He was not his Radhika. He cannot teach right way. Cannot teach right way. No, my dear is only can say who oh, follow up. Mm. <laughs> wow. All right to worship Narayan and Krishna. No, but Srivas, when he comes to us, Narada. Narada. In Panchatatwa, Srivas is in left side. Bahiranga. Antaranga. Srivas becomes Antaranga. Balram is Bhairanga and Advaita is Bhairanga. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> left side, left side and the right side. No? Right. Oh, Guru, Guru Devi come Antaranga. Antaranga. Then he is the teacher. Oh. My no. Like my daughter Sundara. Who is Antaranga side? They are the teachers. Right, Suniti? Who is side of Antaranga, left side? With Gajadhar. Frame Sakti. Who live in the frame Sakti. Who never go out from the frame Sakti. Is practiced to behave in the frame Sakti. And thinking all in the love. He teach even the animals love, birds love. And the all nature love. 
बैठ ही उसके जाता है कृपा चैतन्य Gurudev, you say Nita is Bahiranga. But also, Nita mm. is Bahiranga mm. because he is in that Bahiranga, he is also Radha Sakti. Mm. Yes. That's the point. Yes, means, yeah. means Gurudev, Nita has both, no? Antaranga Bahiranga. Both sides, both uh, Antaranga become Bairanga. Yes, Nita is a Bairanga Sakti spreading the love of Radhika. Mm. All the expansion because Radhika is taking care. Nita take care of Dora. Mm. When he go out, mm. this is the so Nitai is Manjari also and Sakti also. Mm -hmm. Because of that, he is a Radha Dasi also. And at, at the same time, to serve Krishna, he becomes Sakti to please Krishna. Mm -hmm. So Nita is Bahiranga, also Radha's Shakti. Uh -huh. Radha's kind of Shakti, yeah, yeah. kind of Sabha. Yeah. Hmm. So Shakti, Shakti means Radha, Shakti, Shakti, our expansion. Very far out. Huh? <laughs> this is very interesting. Huh? She is Radha's uh, double. Uh, yeah, and uh, Vishnu and Shiva is also praying Radha. Mm. Mm. Why he is creating mm. and why he is destroying that is all love for the love mm. to please who is born here to finish it and to create the centrally person. Mm. Demoniac mind is demoniac. Mm. Person is never demoniac. Mm. That has to destroy demoniac mind. Mm. What is influence in the false ego? This is the work of Shiva and Vishnu work to maintain. In the Shiva destroy ignorance. No? Why do we go to worship Shiva to remove my ignorance? Right? Yes. My this is external potency, external mind goes like this outside. Mm -hmm. So Radha Bhakta never goes where only Krishna is there. God concept. Mm -hmm. Give and take Amazon. <laughs> their, their way is different. Right? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And the Krishna devotee, they not take the shelter of love, they take the shelter of Sastra. <laughs> And the Radha devotee takes shelter of love and truth. One is in the heart, one is in the mind. Why? <laughs> in the heart is sitting love, and in the mind is sitting false ego. Yeah. Some is false ego, some is the <laughs> it's not, it's nice to to understand good if what you said that the person themselves cannot be demonian or uh, even demigod this is all made by the false ego the person themselves inside is uh, in one hand is a, a soul and the quality of the soul is such it ananda so there is no demonian meaning only created by the false so ego they take, they take from the ananda self that is radical mm. Allah, the Nishati, ananda. 